to learn. In this day and age, it's hard to do anything without your smartphone. We can use it to pay our bills, connect with friends, and just about everything in between. But all that time, staring at your phone is wreaking havoc on your eyesight. Joining me now is Dr. Katherine Friedel with Florida Eye Specialists. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you for having me. And this has got to be a very common problem because we know how popular these smartphones are. So first, talk about what types of issues uh, staring at a smartphone can cause on somebody's eyesight. Sure. Well, all the work of looking at something up close is just that. It's work that the eye probably wasn't initially designed to do. So uh, when you're working to focus at near, the muscles are actually getting overstressed. And we're seeing something called digital eye strain in probably about 60% of our patients at Florida Eye Specialists. That extra work is also changing the shapes of people's eyes. Um, it seems to be an epidemic of myopia or nearsightedness that we're seeing. Um, over 34 million Americans are nearsighted currently, and it's probably going to be on the rise. Now, what are some signs and symptoms people can look out for that could show that maybe their eyes are uh, reacting negatively to staring too much at their cell phone? And, and what, can, what can people do to try and fix this? So, uh, complaints I hear every single day, many times a day, are headache, ache, soreness, blurry vision or vision fluctuating a lot. And really a simple modification of behavior can be very helpful, putting down the cell phone possibly, but honestly that's not feasible for a lot of people's livelihoods these days. And there's something called the 20-20-20 rule. For every 20 minutes that you're spending looking at a screen, looking up into the distance, something like 20 feet away for 20 seconds, will relax the muscles in your eyes that are straining to see so hard. You'll also blink more and lubricate the eye and keep it from getting dried out. Okay, so 20-20-20, everybody keep that in mind. If you're staring at your phone or your iPad for 20 minutes, stare into the distance about 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Um, and like you mentioned, a lot of people with their lifestyles or with their jobs, it's not as easy for them to be off their phone with emails and phone calls. What would you recommend, any or any suggestions for people on how to maybe limit the time they're on their phone? Well, uh, limiting time, like we said, can be difficult, but moving a little bit further away so that you can still read, but that the muscles aren't working quite so hard to focus on that near target can be helpful. Mm -hmm. Also using artificial tears or even just thinking about blinking several times. It sounds really simple, but many people have told me it's very helpful. Okay. And so right here, I have a cell phone. I have an iPad. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Very common, both not good for my eyes. But the bigger the screen, does that probably mean that it's going to be not as bad for your eyes? And so the larger screens and the larger prints are actually more helpful once we get closer to the age of 40 or so, when people are dependent on reading glasses. They're also really helpful for patients who have low vision or vision impairment. Um, they will, it's more so about just limiting the time and, and trying to move things a little bit further away and making the larger, the font larger will help you do that. And not only will that be good for your eyes, it'll probably just be good for your overall atmosphere when it comes to life. Get out and get some fresh air and put your phone down. Sunlight has <laughs> actually been shown to improve, the amount of time a child spends in the sun has actually been shown to improve a child's health. So put the phone down, get outside, enjoy some sunshine, but always wear your sunglasses. Okay, and finally, if people maybe have noticed some problems with their eyes, they think it could be related to staring at their phone too much, uh, what can they do? How can you guys help them out? If you're having a problem and with your eyes, whether or not it's related to the phone, if something doesn't get better with a lubricating drop, like an artificial tear, don't sit on it. Mm -hmm. Come get an eye exam and get it checked out by a professional. So visit Florida Eye Specialist. Uh, thank you again for being with us this morning. Thank Very useful information. Me. Appreciate and it. we're going to post the information on our website later today, newsforjax.com. If you or somebody you know can benefit from this, make sure to share it with them.